Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss Talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss Talk. Yeah, everybody on it. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. Well, go on. My dad. <laughs> All right, give me a little bit, huh? My dad, my dad, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Say, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. Hey, man. We in Dallas, Texas, man. It's about to go down, man. Um, you know, man. I just keep saying how God keep blessing me, bro. Man, I, I get the I get the best people, man, to come in on this platform. Mm -hmm. We meet some of the most talented people, some of the people that interlocking with the city, man. Say, man, this guy right here, I would have never guessed it, man. But it just some stuff just drop in your lap. Mm -hmm. Say, man, my boy Low D's is in the building, man. Yo, what's up, man? Yo, yo, man. yo, what's going on? Man, man I'm just hey, I'm glad to have you on the platform. Nah, brother. for sure, man. I'm glad to be here, man, man. One of the coldest dudes I know, man. But he moved. Hey man, like a real G in silence exactly. and lasagna. Exactly. You know what I'm talking yeah, about, man. Yeah. You like that little Wayne? I see that little Wayne line. Yeah, too, man. man. So, so Show. just a little bit about yourself. Are you from Oak Cliff? I am from Oak Cliff. From, from Oak Holland Cliff. Hills, man. Holland Hills. Uh huh. Man, hold up, Gator man, man. Oh, Gator man. Say <laughs> man, hold up, man. Shout out to Gator man. Say man. man, that nigga said, uh. I, I don't walk. I don't walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard the slam. Yeah. For, for better off, for worse, I'll take you out. With that was it. I'm hood, man. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can even go back even before. See, I can't believe they making twenty years. Hey, hey that's it, man. Listen, man. Eternal I'm gonna tell you life, something, man. Holland here at 2000 when man, they came out. Man, me and this nigga, man. Before I graduated, man. Me and this nigga used to be uh, at the clubs together, strip club mostly. That's where we frequent. Most, <laughs> most, <laughs> we, that's no, most that's what we be at. You know, we had we had dreams back in the day. This was the strip club dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We kicking it, man. Every time I see the nigga, the nigga fly. I'm like, yeah, yeah nigga. Okay, nigga, I'm fly too, nigga. We put <laughs> two fly niggas in here. You know, yeah. you watch the ones who really, you know, are, yeah, he doing his thing. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Just the way you move, you know, you mm -hmm. move different, man. Say, man, I'm going to show you something about Gator, man, man. It's hard to go behind him in the booth, man. You are, oh, you, used to, oh, you used to be in that booth. Yeah. Yeah, That's what sure. I'm saying. Gator man, man, yeah, ain't no telling what he gonna say on that thing. When he, oh, he that gonna make you think hard. hard. He gonna make you think hard, man. You know, he got one of the hardest pins to come out the, day, out the city, man. He, he he broke the mold for the hood, for my neighborhood, man. And you know, yeah, ain't nobody just really did it like that. And, I and, always ask where he at now. I be like, man, where is he at? And, you know, it's it just like, you know, what's, what's, what's going on right now is people don't give props what came before them. And man, you know, I always gotta give the props where I got from some of my inspirations and stuff from. And he was one of the dudes that was doing it big out of my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Around that time, the early 2000s, man. So he's so. one of the people that, why you started rapping? When I can't say he was why no, I started no, rapping. No, 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 no. He ain't his reason why. I just why. gotta ask. He ain't his why, but he respected him because he paved him. the way. Exactly, oh, okay. man. It was, was him, it, was it another nigga that was with him? Bo, Bo Leg. Bo Leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bo, Bo Leg was with him. Shout out to Bow Leg, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight off of High Street, Sanderson. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah. See the hood. That's 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 the that's the word. That's where he at, baby. That's oh, it, right there. Oh, Cliff Street niggas for real. Right oh there. man, I loved it, man. I would I would always go through there. They had that park over there. I know about the park, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> you got you got you got the park where they used to have a Holly Hill picnic every year. That yeah, was called, uh, yeah, yeah. Miller Family Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, but then they switched it to uh, you know what I'm saying over there in uh, Langdon. Well, they start doing it every year now, but you know you got a lot of parks in Highland Hills. Man. Oh, you got man. the college park, man, you know what I'm saying? On, Not the neighborhood, but the park. Park, yeah. And shout out to them college park dudes. So too, did though. you? So so what gave you this urge to love music so much, like you do? Oh man, it just I always had a way with words, man. Uh, I was one of them dudes that hated doing Easter speeches at church and <laughs> Christmas speeches. So I just used to write my own. Instead, really? of, instead of doing the ones that they pick out in the book for you, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it, it kind of and was that well received when you write? Oh your yeah, own? they used they used to clap real hard, and I, I, I you know I think for ten or eleven year old I had a pretty good pen at yeah. the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and you know it just gave me the motivation to want to write even more, and then it kind of you know melted and blurred into the hip hop as I fell in love with that. So I started yeah. writing my raps in school, and then you know what I'm saying by the time I got to sixth or seventh grade, I started trying to go to the studio. Wow. Yeah. Man, and, and and the thing I like about you is it seems as if you're evolving. Yeah, I'm man. just looking at the whole, 
as you as we talk, I'm looking at the evolution that's happening with you. For sure, man. You because know, it's it's an evolution going on, man. It's it, you ain't just and you change it with the times. A lot of people can't change, can't change with the times. Time. They I get didn't stuck. Try, they I didn't get try stuck. to step into a manager position. I didn't. It just came really? to me. You know what I'm saying? It was I had a little dude around me that was going hard, and he was doing the things that. We taught him to do it, and he even gained some more stuff. Who was on his the own. first? Who was? Who was? It? Well, it was Yellow Beezy because he he got. Oh, to he was the first. Well, I, I've been having Yellow since he was like thirteen. Get the hell out of here! Yeah, yeah, like. Uh, so you've been his only manager. He's well, I, I wasn't his manager at first. He okay. just was like I put out my album, PMG Entertainment, and uh, I started PMG Entertainment, put out my album with my partner Scooter Mac. He uh, he was the CEO with me, and Scooter Mac had a brother. You know what I'm saying? And it was in a group uh, by the name of TRP. And it was, the little brother was uh, Young Kobe. And there's another guy by the name of Snoop Monstro. And uh, Yellow Beezy was in the group. Wow. So, you know, he, at the time, I think Kobe was like 16. Or he probably was like 15. And Snoop was like 16. And Yellow was like 13. Wow, that's crazy. And, 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 and as I was putting out my music, they was doing their little thing. And, Yellow eventually graduated from high school, and the other guys. We still our family right now, but they they had like links. Yeah. Inside, in and out the pen. You know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah. That's so, most most street street yeah, do that to you. Yellow so how was, old were you when you stopped rapping? rapping? I put out my last album probably like 2015. Wow. I had a bar and MJG on it. I Get out of here, man. Mr. Lucci. <laughs> man, stop it, bro. Don't do this, man. I did. I'm from the old school. You went there. Don't do that, man. Oh, man. I'm from You had eight ball and MJG on that <laughs> yeah, thing? I bought and MJG. Bro, I got to get that with it. I, my, I, I didn't lounge. get it. I got this. Look it up. He might get it. It's on YouTube. It's on you YouTube. You know that nigga, man? Eight ball and Man, I'm going to look this up right now. Stop playing, man. Two separate videos. I got what's one with name, MJG. What, what's the name of the song, one bro? I got, uh, it's called, uh, when MJG is called uh, Ike Turner Eddie Kane. Oh, MJG. Wow. And what was your, your name? Low Deezy? Low Deezy, yeah. Low uh, Deezy. And, uh, on, uh, and the one with A-Bob was called Never Seen One. How did you come up with that name, Low Deezy? Or who came Ike up with Turner. it? I did. Uh, it came, when I first started rapping, man, I was A-Lo. Yeah, and then I switched from A-Lo to, to Low Down when I got by like in the in ninth grade, and it was this dude that was on, uh, I think he was on DM, DJ DMD. Sure DMD's, enough, there it is. DJ <laughs> DMD's label, uh, you know, the 25 lighters on my dresser. He had a dude, mm -hmm. he had a dude by the name of Mr. Lowdown on his on his squad, so I, I, I had to switch mine to Low Deezy. That was Low around Deezy. the time when everybody was doing the Deezy. easy for <laughs> <Hey, hey>. Yellow <laughs> Beezy. Ah, yeah, yeah, Low Deezy, Yellow Deezy. Yeah. But Low Deezy, what's the one with you and 8-Ball? Never seen one. Never seen one. You a bitch, that nigga. I never seen one. No, I, I just know that nigga went in on you like that, man. Say, man, Ball he had a clutch. I on. know he did, he man. I, don't, I already know how he did. And I'm gonna tell you, the crazy part about it is, I was eventually just. I mean, I was originally just supposed to do the song with MJG, and his manager, shout out to the Prano, was like, man, you ain't got nothing for Ball. I'm like, shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So we just made that happen too, put the business together for that, and I ended up getting two songs from the group. So I made it, you know what I'm saying? It was two songs instead That's of just cool. one song. That's cool. That is crazy. Yeah. And I and that's sad that I missed it. What you say, what year was this? I was like twenty fifteen. Twenty fifteen, yeah. yeah. Dang, I gotta find that song, man. It says never seen one. Uh-huh. I got you. Keep on talking. Y'all going to have a good conversation. Y'all want to do all that damn talking before we started. Now y'all want to sit back and act like y'all waiting so, for me. I'm okay, so, so, so you. Open um, book. Okay. <laughs> so your son, we just interviewed him, and he now does music. He does. And you told me about your younger son that he's also upcoming, you know, getting him into the music as well. But he ain't getting him into it. He's getting himself he's into getting it. He's getting himself into it. For sure. So uh, you have a line of music. I want to say artists because in everything you do you're an artist i think if i was a basketball coach or a basketball player or a football coach or a football player they'd be doing that too so it's all about you know what i'm saying you no know, but that's amazing though. the apple don't fall too far from the tree you feel what i'm saying but i didn't force them into it that's one thing i want everybody to know i don't even make beats my my oldest son is a producer so that's something that he found on himself and i was yeah. able to help him out and uh you know put him on the right track to, to doing it my youngest son, he just trying to do what he like to do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to be a rapper right now, so. Yeah, you he right. Like, he like nine right now. And even if, you know what I'm saying, I ain't saying that it's not going to happen for him, but I really just like for him to get into it because it, 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 it enables him to uh, catapult off other things. Like he could uh, learn how to 
you know, speak, you know, do dialogues mm-hmm. or, or acting or, you know what I'm saying, motivational speaker just because if you can learn to rap or a whole song and, and, and not be afraid to be in front of people and speak. That's true. You can do a lot of things with that. You That's know what true. I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just trying to get them get them butterflies out of his stomach. And he ain't scared. That's one <laughs> thing about it. He, I see, he I, ain't scared. I see how you how you rolling, man. You 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 was out there bad back in the days, man. I see you. You, you were working. Oh, yeah. I, got, I had like nine albums. See what I'm saying? He was working. No, no, but see, the thing about it is, it's, it's kind of crazy. I was my own manager. I was just an artist at the time. And a lot of things that I learned as a manager is when I bumped my head up against the wall as an artist. So at the time, you know what I'm saying, a lot of my I's wasn't dotted and T's wasn't crossed as an artist. I but you, like, but but you now wow. you you leveled up when you seen what you had yeah, to do. So for a others. lot of my stuff, like I had, a, I got a big body of work, but a lot of it's not on all DSPs and platforms, album yeah. music and stuff. It just I was out in the CD era, you know. Yeah, what yeah, saying? yeah, for mm-hmm. sure, for so, sure. So you know, we we was, we was going through, pen, I mean, doing consignment and dropping off CDs and going mm-hmm. get on the road and having to you know mail off stuff to to people and things of that nature. So that's how that's how the game was, and I just really didn't ever catch my music up to the standard of what's going on right now. But yeah. as a manager, I make sure everything is going in place for all my clients and artists. So yeah. seeing music the way how it was and how you had to distribute CDs and do all of that, do you think that back then you worked harder than what people doing now? Most definitely, because the difference between then and now is <laughs> you can you could you could just put your music in front of millions of people with the press of a button. Exactly. Back then you had to go to these But you places. gotta calculate it correctly because if you don't you just be throwing it out there and it ain't gonna yeah, do it then, right, right? It was more, more yeah. Right. But at the same time, it's all about like you know what I'm saying, uh, who you, who your distributor is and how you getting your music out Correct. for that to happen. But a lot of front end money is missing now. Okay, okay. Mm. Like you know, you used to be able to if you was a, if you was a high commodity and these po- people knew that you was gonna sell out. Like Gator Man, we just talked about Gator Man, Big Chief. You know what I'm saying? Those dudes was the dudes that could take your take they could take their CDs to all the mom and pops. Big T's and Ergasms and Sam Goodies and all the stores and guaranteed to grab off, drop off 100 copies or 200 yeah. copies at a time. And they'll cash them right out because they know they're going to sell. Right. That's how, that was the front end money I'm talking about. Yeah. See, right now, you know, it's you know you, you really don't just get so that. So that's the disadvantage of the way how things that's are now. Yeah, mm-hmm. you, you, you see, they had to put a stop to that because we didn't really need the labels no more. All I had to do was just go find somebody that could press up my CDs, mm-hmm. pay them. You go take it to the people in the stores, and it's gonna sell out. And after they run out, I go fill them up again. Yeah. And I don't need no record. And you like, controlling yeah. the whole thing. And that money sell, come all to you. I could just sell it. And he running his numbers up. I can sell it to everybody in Texas and be good. I don't and he worry running about his numbers up every time because at the end of the day, he calculating all that: the sales, yeah. the mm-hmm. presses, the the stuff and you print. You running your numbers up. You running exactly. your numbers up. So now they can't stop him from going platinum, gold, and all that. He's still see, gonna do that. And he didn't need to hire a lot where, of people. Where a lot, where a lot of, where a lot of it went on, it was. It got to the point to where the CDs got to where anybody could press them up. Oh yeah, I remember them days and, too. And the Nielsen sound scan and stuff wasn't keeping up with all the sales mm. that was going on. It wasn't just no doops. You could just I don't care if you scan it or not. Just give me my ten dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That's how it was. And it, a lot of people weren't getting credit for the, the actual albums that they wouldn't sell. So they were getting think, the money. You think them numbers went up and people didn't get credit for it? Is what you saying? Exactly. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't get Nielsen sound like they got the R A R I A A now that keeps up with how many singles and how much you selling right yeah. now. But back then it was Nielsen sound scan. And that's just whenever you scan that barcode, you know what I'm saying? That's when it's gonna, okay, that's one album they went towards your sales. Yeah. So, you so know. Do, how then, do you, then people had to physically get up out of their, their house and go buy that go CD. Go buy that CD. Yeah, yeah. Right now you just roll up on your phone and download it. Buy it, yeah, download it. Or either you just listen to it on YouTube or oh, listen, yeah. you don't have to, because that's the difference between my streaming and buying it back then. The stream is just me listening to it. Yeah. It, it's not, I don't own it. I can just listen to it on YouTube or I can listen to it on Apple Music, but I ain't downloaded it. So that stream, like I think I think they said it's like one point five billion streams equals yeah. platinum status now. Mm-hmm. And so half you, of that would be gold, so that's like what, seven hundred and fifty million? As a manager, you gotta keep up with a lot of stuff, man. Oh, man a lot of crazy. numbers. Uh, you was on the computer in here. I said, yeah. damn, this dude here acting like me. Right. <laughs> but how can you keep up here. with all of those? sites and everything that's going on and all the numbers because you have to be watching out to making sure he getting paid for this 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 mm-hmm. and he doing this and that that's a lot yeah well you know you got to have a team but at the same time if you set up everything right everything gonna fall it'll roll right. smooth right everything done in order moves accordingly okay you're right it's, it's gonna fall right if you started right now if you started wrong 
I had a question I, and I just thought about it and I was so when I seen out from the outside looking in you know mm. I'm that guy you go back and watch my video I'm from the outside looking in you know I'm coming with something mm. now when when yellow beezy mm -hmm. had got shot mm -hmm. and I was I watched him he was at in the bed and I was like, dang, you know, I was I, he's watching BET and all this stuff. I was watching this at stuff. a hospital. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm watching. I'm a big fan though. And then he came out and he was okay. He even did a little video. While I he know was where in you're there. going. With I it. snuck that video. Too. That was hot. I like that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. We needed yeah. that. The His city mama needed that. Want me to do it. Don't matter. Yeah. You did it. It got done. And I could see why. I could see that point of view too, though. Yeah. But I understand yours as well. We and now he always cherished that. Yeah. Let him know but the thing I wanted to ask you, I was upset about something, and she I know, know you know, I already been asking everybody about this too. When he came out. Mm -hmm. He did a show. I don't know what the show was. I don't know what he done the first show. You know all that. Don't care about that, really. I don't care about the show. What I care oh, about yeah. is the number. He came out. He said he made forty thousand dollars a sh that show. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. On the, he texted this, and then French Montana said, "I make two hundred thousand or something like that a show. A hundred thousand. I, I kind of know Puff Dad do his stuff. I, but, but regardless, I felt like when he came out." I felt like, I'm like, why did they not push his numbers up? Because everybody wanted to see him at the time. Because of what he went through. I felt like his story, he was worldwide at that time. Matter of fact, the niggas at the barbershop said I was a fan. Nigga, shut up, you a fan. He couldn't. I said, no, nah, nigga. His worth was way higher to me. Well, uh, at the time. You understand what I'm saying? Do you at, think I'm tripping? At the time, he, he I, that, was, that was just like his, after with that, he reason, said, I made this why, much. French Montana said, I make this much. And then he was like, man, you know, like it was like they were talking. I yeah, said, they partners. Yeah, yeah, partner. yeah. I'm like, I ain't like but, that. But, I'm but, a Texas dude. I'm every, I'm real sensitive about show, any nigga saying anything show, the about Texas that he nigga. Did after he got shot was one that it was booked that he posted that did. Before that he, he got, got shot. shot. And that's why. So I, contracts probably were signed and yeah, everything I, was else. I, I, I sure hate that. That didn't fall right for me. But now you're mine. But but you got to look at it like this, though. French Montana been in the game doing this thing, and he was. He like, was he, he above them. But so still. Like, you, know, you know, it's cool. But, but still, I'm from Texas, man. And I'm like, oh, nah, he nigga. Texas hard. Nigga, we, we bigger than that, nigga. Same Don't man. worry. We shouldn't even let him get out there like that. Something. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Even if it was that, them forty thousand, you do four of them. Oh, week. don't you gotta tell me. I know the numbers gonna they get gonna right. Add up anyway. But I was just like, man, I wanted him to go fast. <laughs> I, you know, I just wanted. I didn't. I was like, man, why he why he come out like that? I didn't want. I want to make one hundred fifty thousand, two hundred thousand, and I didn't know what if he'd have said twenty thousand and forty thousand, still would have been upset. Yeah. yeah, I just want to be on top. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, man, we 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 doing our thing. Man. I like it. Now y'all doing as, stuff. As nobody, far, listen, man, nobody in the, the city si doing like y'all, exactly, bro. bro. I know so, that already, you know, you know, but I'm real sensitive about what I, I'm a fan of. Does that make sense? Man, I appreciate it. I wanted, I wanted to get 150 <laughs> too. I'm with you. I'm, I'm a business too, dude, too, so I'm thinging like, you know oh, no, nah, we got to go bigger. You know, we, we cool with, with people like Dirk. Dirk getting like 100 Yeah, right Dirk now. getting it. Yeah, he you know getting it. But, you know, it, you got to work. It's, look how long Dirk been in the game. No, no, he been in a long time. We see, went up see, to Chicago. Everybody, everybody just know the blonde hair Dirk. No, no, remember, no. I remember the other one. Dirk had a haircut like this. I remember like Dave's Loaf Dirk. He had a dirt, her, you Dirk had a cut like dirt? mine. Remember yeah. that? <laughs> like, yeah. it was, it was, it's different levels. So like. it's like, you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta stay in the test of time. A lot of folks, you know what I'm saying, that yellow still in it, bro. No, no. He, you, he, know, he you know how long man. folks been waiting bro, for it to leave? Bro, it ain't going nowhere. That's what I'm saying, Certain man. people, and, certain and people hit cool, And on the cool, it's something cooking up real, real strong right now that's brewing. It being a little quiet just because of something brewing. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, when 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 the tornado for to come, man, it get real still. No, 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 no. I already know, man. You know I'm proud saying? of y'all, man. I'm proud See. of everything y'all done did for yeah. the city. And thank you. That's what I do, though. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I appreciate you because I, I might not you, never bro. get to say it. It, tell Yellow I said thank you. I appreciate the music, man. Oh, for sure. Man. I'm for the coach. I'm been Texas low down ever since I was a kid. That's and, the yeah. way her life is. And Tomorrow is never promised. That's so you why always, I always have to thank give you. roses. Honest, thank you. Always give roses yeah. while they're here. Yeah, for sure, That's why man. I do the plaque. I want to give Yellow a plaque, but hey, man, you know, you had to get it to him or whatever. I get, I get, I get it by here, man. Yeah, you got to tell me. Yeah, you the man. I got the man right here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, nigga, I'm plugged in. No, <laughs> You sitting there like swimwear. You feel me? <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you, man. Sometimes sure. things happen, you don't even see them coming your way. Yeah, you man. know what I mean? It just happens like that, bro. Yeah. And I just thank you for doing that. So let's get to this song, but I want to see what you, what you, how this sound, because I know the boy ate you up. No, I ate my nigga up like that. Oh, he was doing the thing. Oh, you did the thing? I stood up. That's you the hear it? MJG, though. Yeah, yeah. My style, nigga, even trying to riff like me. 
boy, Young Thuggin made that trip. Shout out to Young Thuggin, man. I ain't seen you in a minute, baby. Where you at? Okay. Now y'all gotta realize it. That was my club, too. Okay. Okay. Everybody in there, these my club. That's hot, man. I like I like the fact that uh I wanna hear the JG part too. Let me see what he gonna say. Pimp tight, he gonna say pimp tight on it. Right, you know I'm looking for that. Man, you saw man, you don't work with the you don't work with some people, bro, when you don't work with MJG and A Ball. Some niggas will never get to do that. You know, See Luchy that phase gone too, man, already. Lucci was on my first and my last album. Luchy you know, Lucci was Lucci was here, like I said the other day. He just left the show, man. And man Doski G was on the same song on my really? first album. Really? Yeah. He had been talking to Doski G. I got to meet. I never met Doski G Doski, in person. Doski, I just met. I met Lucci and his brother. His brother. We, his brother I, got I, a father. I, just, out of I town. just. I just met his brother too. Did you? His yeah. brother was here. They look like they look just, just alike. alike. That's what I told him. That's what I told him too. But yeah, man. Doski man, G, man, one of big, buddy. big stand up guys, man. Real live street nigga, man. Ready for streets, right? Yeah, man. Dope, 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 man. Everybody know dope being real, man. That's what's he up. He pulled man. through on a real life situation recently, man. So wow. Shout out to Dope. That's Doski what's G. up, man. That Doski, it's, I talked to him on the phone, and he seemed real level-headed, real nah, down there. Nah, man, Doski G realized. Luchi, up, now, Luchi set that up. He wanted us to talk, so that's what happened, you know. Yeah. Certain Pookie things. Pookie, too, man. Shout out Pookie to Pookie. Pookie just was man. here, too. Pookie, man. As a matter of fact, his dr- like dropped Pookie the Pookie rock with us the strong way, man. Man, Pookie's so fly, real. though. That nigga Same so, Pookie, man, that dude, nigga man. play as hell, man. I said, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga play up, man. Yeah, he man. sat here, we rode all day, too, man. We mm-hmm. He didn't. He stayed. Him and Vita Loca was Vita Loca came on. We was kicking it, man. Yeah, that man. Same we day. had a good time. Yeah, Pookie my dude, too, man. We, just, just, was, we just was all together because, like I said, Ziggy made it made a track on Lucha album. Ziggy made it, boy. This yeah, boy, here's something. Miss, I heard the track. That album came out today, you said? Which one? Um, no, nah, that was the other day. That it came, came out, out on the 21st. 21st. I popped, okay. I dropped his uh his interview it's hard too, man. the same day. Ooh. I listened to it, man. That boy going in. Ooh. But see, the boy had time to think, but he said he didn't write he didn't write nothing that locked up. Nah. He said I he wrote books. He ain't never write. He yeah, I know it. Somebody I know. Lucy, man. I'll tell you something about Lucy. What'd he do to you at the studio, bro? Him and Doska used to come in there not with no pen and no pad. Luckily, I already laid my verse down, <laughs> and they got there. You know what I'm saying? But dude, they just punching. They ain't punching in neither. It's crazy. They, they writing in they man writing in the head, going there in one take. It. I was like, come on, bro. Are you serious? Lucy for real, man. But that's that. They man, they something else in the city, man. That's why I love Dallas, man. I love what we bring to the table. I gotta give. I gotta give. I gotta shout out to all my dudes that's really out here, really making the jump, man. So you yeah, know, and, and you know, especially from my era. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. lift those up. So that's why. Why you think my show like it is? Now mm-hmm. I got you, man. It's all working out, man. All things work together for the good for them mm-hmm. that love God and are called according to His purpose. purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that's real, right? Yeah, sure, that's man. real, baby. You know what I'm saying. So we good over here. Mm-hmm. We we doing the things that right. We love God. Sure. And so I know that's why it's going to pop. I know that's why it's going in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so how ahead, many I'll artists do you have right managing? now? Managing. Managing. Under PMG? I managing. Uh, I got about like five. Five? But <clears throat> as of right now, what we got coming up the bat, of course, is Yellow New Album and uh, Jose Bodega. Yeah, yeah. Jose Bodega got Mr. Bodega. How's, how's the album? How's, how's the sound? You yeah. heard it already. Man, Bodega is the... City's most slept on. And he got Mr. Bodega out right now. And he gonna come out with the deluxe probably, with, uh, I think we were talking about May 17th. Okay, so it's right and, around the corner. And, uh, we got uh, Defamation of Character coming after that. And then I also have Misha. She's a female artist. Man, I got how you keep forward. up with all this stuff, man? You don't man. have any You're R&B? A genius, man. R&B I don't artists? have any R&B right now. No, I don't. As, at the time. Because right now the, the game is kind of merged. with If you a rapper, you a singer. Yeah, that's okay, right. That's right. That's true. That's true. I have something to say about that because I agree. They be talking about R and B, but I'm just not with that auto tune. Oh, here and she that's go. what but that's what the R and B dudes doing auto tune. I know everybody doing auto tune. And the R and B dudes singing about rapper stuff. 
I, I know love, it. I they love wanna natural be rappers. talent because <laughs> I always felt like they all the team can rappers. make you sound good when you really they not, be rappers. really not that great. You yeah, know because what? Because I mean? everybody's really not that great as a singer, but they want to sing <laughs> <laughs> right now. That's what's going on. So what you gonna do? Put out a tune on it. And this is why they accept it. It's not going to They no loving it. Because they tried to kill it. Jay-Z tried to kill it. It didn't happen. he killed T-Pain. That's what he did. Oh, you know T-Pain. T-Pain. But T-Pain. But everybody shout else out T-Pain, man. Yeah, you did I your thing. I remember when it came out I in the beginning that. and everybody I, I loved it. the way he was doing it. And the nigga could sing. But see, that's the difference. T-Pain can actually sing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he yeah. can. You know, they yeah. screwed him over. Yeah, but you know. I ain't like that. That's the game. That's Jay. Jay something else. He, lo- he loved to talk. Well, see, Jay just was come from the old school. Man, Jay going to nah, flip listen, something listen, on listen, you, bro. man. Listen, listen. Jay came from, I said, Jay my dude, man. I like Jay. I like Jay, but not like I like, you know, I'm a PMC fan, not trying to put them against each other. Yeah, but see, that's. that's. But listen, I'm from the South, and I'm going to be on with He come down, and he showed us love. But at the end of the day, that, that, you know. That, that's peas and carrots, man. That's, that's, that's right. That's oranges and apples. That's yeah. right. That's right. You got, you got I'm to from have, the South. You know that now. I'm from the South, too. <laughs> I'm from Oak Cliff, Texas. But I, I still rock with some, you know what I'm saying? If you if you was to just listen to my music. I listen man, to Jay-Z. If you listen I'm to my, listen my, to my your music, music, you would know. You would understand why. I'm, I'm going to listen to a couple Because I'm a Southern dude. I'm, I'm UGK. I'm, I'm, I'm A-Bot, Gotta MJG. Be. I'm Scarface. But you respect the art. But I, I respect the pen. I respect that's, lyricism. That's all? Yeah, that's right. I and, get it. And lyricism don't got no geographical location on it. I agree, but we do talk different. We do. And but, uh, we sound a little different. Our cadence it's the, is it's, different. It's, it's, it's the different you know. talk, different lingo. It's the same message every time. I agree. Sure. I agree. The message, just, the just, message is hitting, hitting I, the same. I got, I got, I got a, like a look. East, back in the game, the East Coast guys had a little smarter way of saying some street shit. Mm-hmm. In their own eyes, in their it, own it was, mind. It was a little bit more clever. I'm going to be honest with you, in their own mind. To me. So, so, like, listen to me. Southern guys kind of just was straight to the point with it, like Pimp. He, he wasn't heavy on the lyricism, but he going to hit you in your mouth with some facts. Like this, though. Like, head on is where you can't do nothing but respect it and love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's kind of like some Southern shit. You know what I'm saying? We kind of straight to the point. But you do have some, like, like Bun early on in UGK. He was like one of the hardest lyricists. But it's I think, so honestly, I think when Pimp C went to jail, he kind of, Dumbed it down just a tad to kind of, you know, keep up with the times. But at first, like '98, before. Boy, I like this conversation, don't I? '98 on before. I love everything. when they go to talking about UGK. Bron was platform. killing everything, man. Man, what you saying Murder. is true. I'm listening to you. Murder. Check, check out, dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Check out the, the features. Like, uh, you want to talk about a ball solo album, Ball and Bun? Listen, the man. Bun B verse on Ball and Bun. Come on, man. This nigga hears. <laughs> that nigga said flipping, flipping flows forever shine like diamond grapes on leather vines. I'm saying, mm-hmm. man. Come on, man. My that's all I'm going to say on that say I wish I wore rubber. I wish I could say I wore rubber every time. Man. But if I told you that, then you know that I'd be lying. <laughs> sure. <For> so, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Texas nigga. <laughs> no, that's, you know, I just, I know the platform. I, I just know that New York don't need no help. Uh, East Coast don't do now. Up. No, no, no. No, they Honestly, still bro. they still got all the stuff that it take to make the movement happen. They still hold a lot of the offices and the stuff that they're yeah, doing. Man, you see but, what I'm saying? But, and ain't nothing wrong with that. But like, man, a lot of that should be in LA now, man. A lot of that should be in Atlanta now. And man. I know you know more than me because you having to move to yeah, because, because 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 you still got to go to New York for press runs and shit. That's like what I was that. saying. You got to do it. But 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 at the same time, man, you know you can control this shit from anywhere because of the worldwide. That's why we right here now. now. I'm for the rock around, baby. Yeah. We, we we pulling it in. We you can control this shit from anywhere, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. The yeah. worldwide way. Yeah, man, so Look, you can be you got niggas getting popping from Louis, Kentucky right now. Now you say you wait a minute. Let me go back. You say you and you met Yellow early on. Y'all both grew up together, kind of. Well, you I, older than him. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm let me see. Uh, I probably got Yellow about eight nine years. Okay, He's the same age as my nephew. So really, he was the first one you managed. Yeah, he was the first one. I first managed. one you yeah, managed. Sure. And when did you know? We we got something real different. I know going we on. had something before I started managing him because I was the artist. He was an artist too, so we were just kind of moving together. Okay. But then it came to a point in time where he got to moving too fast, and somebody had to take care of this <laughs> so, shit. So, so, you, know so you was like, "What did he say? Hey, man, you PMG? Hey, man, hey, low D, you gonna have to look out." No, it was just a point. Oh, you just did well, it. Like you wanted to do to just do else, it. Somebody else was managing them at first. Okay. And, uh, they denounced their position, and I just took over. Okay. So the thing, I, and I mean, I said it because when it starts speeding up, or 
when you start trying to figure out, you're like, dang, we got something. We got to try to lock in and make sure this right. Mm-hmm. Y'all smart to even do that though. Yeah, you bro. know, cause that black black folks, you can come on, man. You know how. We yeah, do. you know, but that was a little bro, man. You know, it was it was a given that if somebody was gonna touch it, it was gonna be gonna be you. Know. That's yeah. hot, man. I mean, that's that's cool. That's that's really that's good to know. Mm-hmm. I still say it's God. Mm-hmm. You know it how is. I think it is. It's crazy too, it's man, God, because it was, it's connections to it, and, I, and I, I I look at it now after you know what I'm saying everything happened. You know, like I told you earlier, my mom passed like 2012. Yeah, yeah. But her birthday is October 22nd. And okay, it's yellow birthday too. Wow. wow, same day. So it's like confirmation. It's and then like, another thing is my mom passed on March 15th. Okay, and that's yellow mama birthday. Wow, nah. and his baby mama birthday. Wow, I said, man, it's just crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so that's it's certain things that were. God just touch you a little it bit. Just, you know. those, those numbers, man. You know what just, I mean? It's yeah. Just, too many connections right there. So I was like, man, you know, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the way you where you move and the way your business savvy is and the conversation yeah. we have, to be honest. Nah, for with sure, you. man. You know, I, I, I think it's, I think it's real. Yeah. 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 So I, do you prefer being a manager rather than being an artist? artist? Yeah, I do. <laughs> is it less stressful? No, it's not less stressful. <laughs> but, you know, because you got to deal with a lot of tedious stuff. But I think as an artist, you have pretty much the same amount of stress or even more because the pressures of being a hot artist, man. You know, sometimes you're living in the in the limelight and you're living to where you under a microscope, microscope, and everybody's looking into your personal life and everything that you got going on. So that's what I don't like. Yeah, yeah. You know, I can still go to the grocery store. I like the way you move. I yeah, just I told still, you that. I'm watching all that. Sure. Everything you say. I still you're walk saying. in the mall, man. And I still can go. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh, no, without, without being bombarded. No, he can't too, but you know, it's gonna be a crowd here and a crowd nah, there. It's hard. It's hard, yeah, bro. So, it's hard, know. brother. He can't do that. And the bigger he get, he's gonna be no, my mega yeah. crowd. So we was in the airport, man, and he got on a uh, do rag. They figured it out. Hood, they figured it out. And a mask. So I this is all you see of him. They still know who he was. Wow. Let me, let me just, let he ain't trying to hide like that. It's just how his mask was. Listen, man, I met I met Yellow right coming out of Charles though. I was yeah. leaving, he was coming. Shout out to Charles. Yeah, and I was like, shout out to Charles. That's Big my T. guy. Yeah, Big T. Charles from Holland Hill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Charles from Holland Hill. Boy, I got to mess with him about that when I see him. Uh, so I see him, and we just kind of dabbed. This is before everything took off, too. It was just kind of, you yeah. know. Y'all was still rocking. Y'all been up forever. Uh-huh. And uh, he was just so respectful, man. That day, I was like, man, this, that dude, I knew. You know, far as the way he carried himself, he by himself too. It was yeah. just me and him. Yeah, and early, I was like, early man. on, man, he he understood that the fans was were major. But yeah, so and I like, just recognized like, man, you know, never denied nobody no pictures. Even when I didn't see him when he was sick, or you know, what I'm saying wasn't feeling too well. We in the airport and trying to go to the next show or whatever, and he never denied a fan that access to him. You know, what wow. Saying? That's love, man. Like I said, I knew. I you remember Buster said that on here too. Money Moses, Money Moses, like I tried to do this. No, it wasn't. It was Isaiah. It was Zeke. Say he tried. He, remember you? He was yeah, in there. Yeah, that yeah, day. I can't remember. He was like, he tried. He was like, man, I asked Yella to do a little drop for me on mm-hmm. Zeke TV, and he just did it like that. Yeah. He said, I, and he, he named some other people that he asked to do certain things for Zeke TV. That's my cousin. Mm-hmm. He over there at uh, Broom, Broom Bazaar. Broom okay. Bazaar. Okay. And he was like, they didn't do it. But yeah. but 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 soon as I asked Yella, he was like, let's do it. Hey, man, if you <laughs> catch him when he in the working environment, he'll do whatever he needs to be done. <laughs> like, let's but do don't it. Don't be trying to catch him when we fit to get in the car. Don't be trying to do all <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, no. We got to burn off. No, I'm no. Sorry, I, bro. I, I can't let, it's all about the safety at the time. So no, no, no. I, I get let him talk it, to nobody. Ain't no. Let nobody. Hold up. We need to get in this car right now. I think sorry, you, you doing a good job. That's your job. Yeah, for sure. You better do it. You, you got to do it. You can't, you, you got to make the right decision to move right. Yeah, you know, sure. that's a, that's important in this day and time for sure, man. So you, I, oh. you going to go there? Yeah. No, not, I have another question before okay, we go, go there. Since you manage both men and women, mm-hmm. do you have, what are the, do you have any preferences? Is it easier to manage well, a guy than a woman or I vice versa? I just started to manage a female. Boy, this, you got this, your work cut out for this you. Year, this year. You, got you know what? Actually, man, it kind of been easy. Easy? <laughs> I'm really talking about easy. the makeup and the well, hand see, pampering you know, and all know, that you know, stuff. You know, that, that's that's all you got to do is hire somebody to do that. But, you know, and, and then... It's easy. It's she easy. do a lot of that herself. But, uh, yeah... Uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of easier than what I thought it was. But then at the same time, I'm starting. I'm just now starting with it. So. <laughs> it's all right. You gonna handle this, saying, man. I ain't saying hey, that man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. Hey, man. Great as he is in you, man. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? She she moving, man. She got a little old. She got a, a CD coming out called Big Mish mm-hmm. EP. 
Uh, she uh, got a little tour going on. By, oh, that's good. By the Ten City tour right now. That's what's up. So, mm -hmm. so how do how do how do somebody get to be managed by you? Mm -hmm. Well, I always tell people that. How can I get to be managed by Low D? I you always got tell all people, these you, people being you successful. Can't, you can't find me. I got to find you. That's, it, that that's, that's what, what they, they say. That's what they say. <laughs> like, that's don't real. bother me. No, don't deal me. Most likely, most, said most the same likely, thing. Same thing. Most likely, when a manager or somebody discovers talent, it's not in a, it don't never follow in their lap. Sometimes it do, but you got to go seeking that talent. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta do something. Where do you look? Out. Do you look on. Instagram on yeah. YouTube, YouTube and stuff. So. Yeah. So you stay on those. <laughs> That's where I on look those at. sites. But see, you know what I'm saying. Uh, sometimes I, I got. I got. What a, do you hashtag to look for? That? I got A and R's too. Oh for, yeah. For my management company. You do. That kind of because that's how I kind of came across uh, Misha. Misha. I got. I got. I got. So what you I call, you, I call them the body snatchers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boy, you tough man. Yeah. They what go made you, you? They go get them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They go get them. Wow. Is there a certain hashtag you use? Because body somebody, snatchers. Hashtag some, body snatchers. No. Because <laughs> when people because <laughs> when people listening and you know That's they, they're like hashtag. I want to be discovered, they want to make sure okay I have this correct hashtag so he do he can see my video or he can see. He ain't gonna be hashtagging nothing. He just yeah, looking. I, yeah, I just go through it. Just go it, through. It, sometimes it's it's the talk of people. Okay. And then you know what I'm saying I go hollering at these people and say if you if you represented by management enough. Or not, and I feel like we can make something happen. Then you know, okay. come have a seat in my office. What would you What would you tell a guy who wanted to be a manager that's young? You know, he's he's young. As a matter of fact, he's about eighteen. He mm -hmm. want to manage artists. Matter of fact, we met one here the other night. This eighteen mm -hmm. <laughs> man. Build, build up your network so you, when you do start getting you some clients, you can have some channels to run them through. Okay. Start out building up your network, and you start doing that by being in the places to be. Meeting people. Meeting people. You gotta as as a manager, I feel uh, I learned that you just gotta talk to people and see what they do, and then once you build up your your network, I mean your net your uh, your little network basis, then you got something to run your artists through. And then after that, you need to research everything about the game. Wow. As much as you can before you start, because once you you know what I'm saying, got your little old laydown, you can run run them everything through your channel. Wow. Yeah. Do you ever um, yeah, try you to train that better somebody? Than a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? Like you notice how yeah. he, he explained the hell out there, mm -hmm. didn't he? You really gave a platform where, where it, that's a blueprint if you really think about it. Just Go put ahead. your network together and and uh and uh do your research. Yeah. You I say it all the time. And YouTube and, and Have anybody YouTube. ever asked you on them youngsters to say, Hey man, well, how can I get to manage? Or how I can, can I be on manager? I done mentioned a few people. Okay, that's good. I, I give game away all the time. That's bro. good. Especially man. in Dallas. That's why you here. that's people why you're growing. That's why you blessed. People lack the business. So yeah. anybody that come up to me feel like they need to know something. I, if I can see if you don't give it to you, I give it to you. Wow. That's hot. I'm gonna give it to you. That's hot, man. Go ahead. No, you took my question. I was gonna ask what him about was mentoring. I'm good, ain't I? Yeah, I'll be going in. If he has ever mentored anybody, but you already <laughs> took it. Well, you, you know what I'm saying? Like I got I got uh Shout out to my boy Pimp Skinny, man. You know what I'm saying? Pimp Skinny is uh he's he's an inspiring manager. Well actually he's managing. I can't say he's inspiring. Uh shout he out to my shout out to my partner, Carl Watts, heavy hitters management with me. Heavy hitters management. That's, that's what, I like that. Yeah. Heavy hitters. Yeah. In the uh, building. Shout out to uh it's a couple of dudes, man. A lot of a lot of time I don't just mention managers. I mean I I mention artists too. Yeah. But I got mm -hmm. love for them, man. Yeah. You ain't got to be under my management company. I just want to see you do help good. Them. That's, That's good. good. Man. That's how come you blessed. Yeah, because yeah. you have to. You can't hate on nobody else, even if they're the same um, category that you are. You, you have to just wish good for other people. Too. You know what I'm? I learn more and more every day right. that we've been doing this damn podcast. Man, that these people, like the ones who are on the forefront, don't get me wrong. It's a special group of people knitted to these people. The ones we've been dealing with, been the ones who really. Do the behind, back, the behind the scene, mm -hmm. and the they same. all be humble and good dudes, and they, hey, you paint, gotta have that, bro. Hey, paint little runny, them you little, gotta have that. Out the top off, man. Paint oh, whoa, whoa, top off. Them boys been coming through. Boy, they love Boss Talk One Hundred One. I ain't gonna lie. The top off, and but I love it's the them, same man. saying that they said behind every successful man, there's a woman. Oh, here we go. You know they just, <laughs> boy. She, I'm not, you right, baby. You ain't never <laughs> lie. <laughs> you is you right. Better preach, yeah. <laughs> talk your uh, shit. You better oh. talk it. Because because you definitely right. No, but sure. anyway, man, let me move on, man, while I'm over here caking. You know? yeah. So so how many how many kids you got, man? I have uh four. 
four kids. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. They tough. Yeah. They met, do they mind? Oh yeah, they mind. Ain't no, ain't there one of them I, no wild hair. My kids good, except my baby. Don't boy. that be he, funny he, to you he though? Good, but he like a. <laughs> He, he ain't got no fear to me. He, he testing you. He just testing yeah, you. Know, all, all, them, all them kids that were <laughs> that born in 2010, <laughs> you know, they different. You Sad. know, what are you talking about kids? I know you said um, your son just moved in with you. Yeah. So. My oldest uh, son. Your oldest son. Mm-hmm. So, and I've always, I've always said that men, especially yeah, when boys, when boys are a certain age, they need to they be, need with, their to be with their dad. That's what she said. I had to so, fight for them. That's because good. a man needs Glad to teach a, a, a boy how to be a man. You need to teach him a lot of things that they need to know. Women, because I've always hated hearing women. I hear a lot of women say, it, oh, I'm daddy and mama to this, chi- to this child, to, no, this, you're to this boy. But how are you going to teach this boy how to be a man? And well, you're, you're a woman. <laughs> you can't. can't. do it. You can't do it. You can try. You can bring other dudes around. They, gonna, they don't care. They, they just there for you. They're dealing with the kids. They don't want to deal with the kids. I can promise you they don't. No, <laughs> They don't want to deal with the kids. They just do it for the hell. Man, I just, I, I just like to, you know what I'm saying. I don't know. I, I see a, I see a responsibility, but I applaud you. a I responsibility you for that. in the community, man. Yeah. And, I, and even if it's not my kids, I just like to drop jewels on them, man. Because sometimes they just don't know, or either they probably do got their parents in their life, but they might be too busy trying to case the chick to keep them lights on and everything. They just mis, misguided, man. So whenever I see some of them, and you know what I'm saying, I try to pull their coattail every now and then and give them a little game. You know what I'm saying. I'm starting. I'm also starting like a, a nonprofit too. This coming this year too, to where I'm trying to get like, uh, cause one thing I noticed about my son at his school, they got video and audio programs mm-hmm. there at the high school. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? You know, you go to the inner city, like where I'm from, and you know they don't, they, they don't got those type of programs. Yeah, so I'm trying to yeah. start some things like that to get with these school districts to really put things like that in the, in, the, in the community because. You know, uh, it's a lot of video, it's a lot of videographers. It's a lot of mm-hmm. kids that's inspired to be, you know, producers and managers and rappers. Man, yeah, yeah. Other than just sports, man. So you got to yeah. put these type of facilities to, you know, uh, let those things flourish in these kids, man. Mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. you know it's just not happening right now. So we need to make that happen. Just because wow. you don't live in a suburb, don't mean you shouldn't have an opportunity like wow. the suburb kids got. Yeah, but that well, was awesome because that, when his son did say that, you know, he went to that type of class there, I was like, really? They had that in high school? Yeah. I thought that was amazing. That's dope. Yeah, so, That's dope. You know, That's he, fine. He's fortunate enough to go to a good school district, but, you know, everybody, you everybody know, doesn't have that. I didn't go to a good school district. You know what I'm saying? So I went to I'm a, trying to bring that back to my I went to, to a racist school district. Yeah. I'm from the country. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was, black man didn't have no chance. Yeah, and, you no. know, that, that, was, that was kind of equivalent to, you know, good school districts in the suburbs and bad school districts in the in the hood in the city. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. same shit, man. So, you know, uh I grew up just having regular, you know, you was lucky if you had home mech. You know what I'm saying? Home yeah, mech. Yeah, 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 yeah. Home mech was that was it right that there. That was it. We had Wood a good shot. time there. Wood yeah, niggas were making name. Wood shop. <laughs> How you gonna make some money off this shit? <laughs> you can't but but everybody some ain't gonna people, cook. I guess well, you know on Pinterest. Everybody like carpenter. don't wanna be on no Pinterest. carpenter. Man. Carpenter. Ain't no carpenters coming out in 2019. They don't even got real wood no more around this bitch. <laughs> nobody don't really want no, no black carpenters. Come on, and then you ain't, got, you ain't got to worry about nobody getting their fingers sawed off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't even want to do that. Just put these kids in, in, in the audio visual. That's class. what they want. To enhance what they really do. And they're going to really get out. flourish. They're going to really get out. And, and because they do, and, and my kid was a real, real, real testament of what I'm saying is once you they get something change? that. They really, really dig deep into and passionate about, man. Their grades will shoot up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They'll try to stay out of trouble for this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, they can they see the potential of making money. They probably can make some money right then. They probably can shoot somebody video right then. Probably can do somebody beat right then just because they got the equipment. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they can make some money right then as a high school student. Mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I so, agree. you know, it's, it's, it's sharpening up their hustle, plus it's educating them, man. You know what I'm saying? But so. they should show, also teach them the business side of it exactly. in the class, too. And you see, the, how I, to I'm get putting all that into, I'm trying to put all that into, like, you know, a community center that teaches things like that. And also, man, just game kids up on, like, credit and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's one thing I do with my son. They don't teach that in school at all. No, they don't. You know my what daughter saying? said that. Yeah. You know, she, my mom, first thing they do, first thing they do when you turn 18 is send you a credit card. Yes. And what you gonna do? do? Go to the mall and I tear think it we up. We talked about that. Was that? They gonna tear yeah, it up. Yeah, with Shamar, we talked about yeah. it. Go to the mall with Shamar. 
Shamaria, no, our daughter. My daughter. Okay. She's okay. 15. Yeah, I thought you was talking about a she talk, modern name, Shamaria. She talk, about, she, she talk about school not being, don't teach her the stuff that's going to take her anywhere. But she yeah, makes straight A's. She in all gifted classes. See? And she, but she, she don't even under, like, she understand, but she, we push her. We give her economical books. We we give them, we make them read different now, books. She's on it now. Oh, so. she come here, she's been hustling her whole life. Yeah, well, she's going to be good. She flip. But she, she said the only reason she's you know going to university is for networking. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> she said that's, all, See, that's she's it. She's smart. <laughs> that's it. Early she, on, she early gets on, it. She's going in. But she gets it. I was it. talking to a friend of mine. I'm like, man, when I was thinking about going to college, I wasn't thinking, these kids look up college and look at, how much these kids' families Ivy make League and all kind of that stuff. goes to these colleges. Yeah. So they, they pick their colleges depending on the the, the network capabilities. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That That's what they were sitting down and talking about because I heard them and I'm like, dang, I wasn't thinking like that. Well, see, right this, is the, this, is the, this is the information age. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We we couldn't even probably we find even that. Pull out it out. Out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know they can pull so it they up. Can, they, 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 I, I be telling my son it all the time, man. You walk around with everything you need to know in your pocket. That's mm-hmm. it, man. You know what I'm saying? As much as you want to go Google or YouTube that funny video or that crazy TikTok video, you, you can go do something the same much information that you need to know about anything you want to do is right there. It's at exactly. your fingertips. Anything you want to do. Back to the music. Top three artists of all, all time. time, dead or alive, any genre. And I see, I, I didn't hear y'all do this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not finna let y'all do this. <laughs> you gotta give me three. No, 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 no. I'm not finna go. I'm finna, I'm finna do, I'm finna he do finna separate. do it real quick. I'm finna do it separate. Cause I can't give you all drummers in one list. I just need three. You I can keep you can keep it all rap if you want that's to. It's your do. choice. If we're gonna do our rap, we're gonna do our rap. If we're gonna do our soul I music, we're gonna do soul. That's your choice. If we're gonna do our R and B, we're gonna do our R and B. That's your choice. Y'all, 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 y'all ain't gonna make me. However y'all can't you do wanna it. do it, just give us three. All right, uh, three. I'm gonna go least the greatest. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's him. But y'all something else, right? Uh, let me see. I'm gonna do. Uh, we gonna do rap, okay. Uh, three of all time, right? Of all mm-hmm. time, all right. dead or alive. Dead or alive, okay. So number three will have to be. And this your ear, you know. You done done music, so you know. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't go by. I go by what what I hear, and you know, I always say that. Number you, three will have to be three. outcast. Okay. okay. And number two? Number two would have to be a tie between. I'm not no, doing no, that no. with we you. He's me- he meddling. That's all. He know he's meddling. Do not do he messing with us, man. Number two got to be a tie between you, you can't, and Dr. Uh, 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 you either have to put nah, one of them to be in the middle of the ball, right? And I went back and watched it. I was like, man, that was cool. No. I was tripping. No. I did this on another podcast. I think UGK going to be your number one. MG. MJG and A Ball. A Ball. My wife is going to listen to rap. MGG. MJG and A Ball. Nah, okay, so look. Cause I, I gave our groups. Okay, all right. This is what I'm gonna do. Uh, no. right. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so three. This rap groups. Three outcasts. Two. That's the first time he somebody think, did groups. He think he gonna um, a bottle of JG. Lock. Okay. And one use your K. That's my guy. Yes, sir. All right, you see all right, it. All right, now so you see how strong. So, y'all, we're, we're not doing nothing no, no, else with you. No, no, that's it. That's listen, it. We done. Y'all, listen, listen, man. That boy say UGK. MJG 8 ball. All you, had is, all you had but to say is UGK. But that boy say UGK, man. All you I want y'all to say respect for him. Texas, man, for what these guys. Look, they done that, man. We come from nothing, man. They didn't recognize us at first. Shout out Bun. Man, rest, Bun rest B, I'm try, that's who I'm trying to get on. Man, man, wow. That guy just left here. He he worked with Pimp C man. Yeah, yeah. That, that was heavy. We had some. That was a good show. I, I enjoyed it, man. Yeah, yeah. I just want to talk about old stuff. Sometimes old man. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, I love the fact that he worked with those guys like that. KLC and Pimp C did some monumental, monumental, hits monumental hits. Uh, you know I enjoyed it, don't you? Break them off. Oh man, I was in this thing, man. Listen, man. 
Ooh, I was in here, man. <laughs> I was gone. I was there. I be having a good time, man. Yeah. <laughs> I be gone in there like that nigga crazy. Say, man, you know, shout out to KLC and Beats by the Pound, man. Man, them boys heavy, man. They gave us a lot of... I thanked them, man, just like I thank you. Yeah. Like, I know already what you're doing. I, I see the movement, man. Without you, it don't happen. Nah, for sure. So, well, I, you know. I, I, hey, man, I enjoy that, man. I appreciate that, bro. And I thank you for doing it with the city, man. And yeah. I know I know already you got the right mindset. Yeah, that man. you out here, you out here trying to create something special. Say, man, you know, we're trying to create opportunities for people to keep on. You know, what I'd like to do for rap, man, is it's a, it's a cat, it's a it's to catapult you to bigger and better things. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's it's equivalent to how 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 sports work. You know what I'm saying? You know, like how it could take you know take you out the hood and give you some money to yeah, invest yeah, yeah. into other things. Yeah. You know and saying? it's about so, the kids so much, man. Yeah, man. You know, even yeah. the, the rap music, all that stuff is evolving around the young, our youth. That you said it. You said so they man, all want to be rappers. I they was all want. Speaking wanna... of KLC and Beats of the, by the Pound, I was looking at a Master P interview today. Was it? And he was talking about it was it was uh it was it was on the Breakfast Club and he was talking about uh, DJ Envy asked him about uh, Black Rob. Black Rob just passed. Yeah, he did. And R. P. Black every, Rob. everybody kind of was getting that Diddy about because he was. I think he was homeless in their own house or yeah, something yeah. like that. And they were just pointing the fingers at Diddy and Diddy and Diddy. But like you know, what I'm saying he said, "Why ain't nobody mad at Jimmy Iovine?" Boo, boo. Diddy, Diddy, just the middle man. Boo. These men right here is the one that's really, really mm. getting. Boo. So mm. like, like the sports. I love P. He gonna always put it out. there. Like the sports. Uh, the sports world has created space for people when they get into the league what to do with their money that's why you see sometimes you see athletes fall off after the after they lead the league but most of the time you don't see you it don't no more see because them. you have people, people in place that are financial advisors wow. now they don't have that in rap they don't have it in the music industry period but we you got youngsters it. that 16 that come from the hood that never had shit just like niggas in the goddamn nfl you're right or right. in the NBA. You're right. So they need those financial advisors. You're right. You're right. 100%. So they need to come up with a union within these labels. This nigga here is serious, man. You know what I'm saying? Tell, I, you the can nigga have it. The front, nigga have it. Can, man, you really be thinking. You 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 thinking outside yeah. of the box, man, trying to figure out a way to do something monumental for our people, man. It's yeah. not for just himself. He ain't it's thinking about himself. He it's just think about the whole country, right. on, man. I love that. I like it, man. Thank you so well, much just, for coming on the show, bro. Sure, man. I just, you know. You coming back though, gonna, right? I ain't know I was gonna be. Don't matter. You here, nigga? You, yeah, we yeah. here together. We nah, we family sure, now. That's sure, what I'm sure. saying. You coming I back? Said, I said, Let's we stay together. ready. We, we stay gonna, ready. We gotta come back with Ziggy. Yeah. I want to bring back some up. Uh, I got another pr producer guy. You All you gotta do to. is tell him. DJ. Hey Ice. E, are you gonna have my number in a minute? You just hey E. I'm sitting there or I whatever you, people, however you want to do it. That's yeah, the way we're we gonna do it. It's for the city, though, baby. On the twenty fifth, he'll be back with his album. Yeah, yeah we're it's gonna called, rock it's out. It's called Hey Yo Ziggy, you made this. Hey, did he tell you that? Oh, he told no, he didn't tell me that. He didn't tell us. He didn't tell me name. Like you just hit that old hard too. Hey Yo Ziggy, you made this. <laughs> That's hot. And I also manage producers. And what happened? Ziggy made it is one of the producers. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, DJ Ice is the other producer. He like giving me a hard time, man. Thank hey, you hey, so much. Hey Yo man. Ziggy, you made this. He has. Uh, an album coming out where he's not rapping; he's just making all the beats. That's how. And he got some hot, so ooh, some hot featured hot artists features. on him. He got Everybody every big hit, hard hard hitter from the city that you could think of. Uh, uh, OGs, seasoned people, and young young artists. So Man. it's gonna be a good project. Probably by like 10, 11, 12 pro, uh, game, track man. project. We gotta do this. I need you to say something. How, uh, yeah, let's talk about it. Yeah, so so what's your handle? How can we get a hold of you, man? Somebody mm -hmm. trying to reach out to you to try to get. I know everybody be looking at through these different social media platforms. Yeah, uh, you know, man, you know, I, uh, Instagram is at L O W D E E Z I E. Okay. You know what I'm saying? L O D Z. Okay. And my Facebook or whatever is, you know, my government name, Adrian Brown. You old, you got a Facebook. You know, a young boy, they don't. They look at hey us man, like the so young boys look something. at us like. I'm gonna tell you something about Facebook though. See, people sleep on Facebook because that's the best analytic data you can gather and push. And the only way you can do sponsored ads on Instagram is if they synced through your Facebook. Wow. 
Yeah, you're right. You do know. I, I know that. I do it. I just so want to know. Saying, so you're you, exactly right. You can be. You can think I'm old if you want to. Gonna, <laughs> don't get that money. Fa- fa- Facebook said you're going to have to come holler at him, man. Oh, yeah. You know, to promote on Instagram. That's called Facebook on Instagram. Yes, sir. So that's that's the game. Um, so the thing I say, man, thank you for coming on the show. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate you, man. I, I Hey, man, tell Yellow. I, hey, man, I love what he's doing. I love what you guys doing over there. Sure, for sure. And uh, I've been... St- Man, ever since I came out with the show, that's what I've been chatting over here too. That's why I ain't just being fake. See, you can go back and look at my shows. You're going to say, man. that nigga been doing that the whole time. Man, we appreciate you. Because I just, I don't care. I, I go by how I feel. That's like the UGK Pimp C thing. No, for sure. I just go by how I feel. And I don't care what a nigga think. I just go by how I feel. What did Pimp C say? I'm going to tell you how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way it's supposed to go, nigga. You know what I'm saying, man? No, sure. Hey, man, thanks for coming by, man. Boss Talk 101. Boss Talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah.